Today, my friends, we have been given not just one, but two gifts by none other than Oscar of Vanilla Expanded fame, who has given me the power to showcase to you all Cursed Crew, an upcoming roguelike naval ship simulator by Cracklewatt Games, an indie studio founded by three exceptionally talented individuals whom I can only describe as Rimworld modding royalty. Now, along with that, we do have one other small thing. Who would like to see the upcoming Vanilla Factions Expanded Pirates mod? That's rhetorical, of course. All of you want to see that. So to celebrate the now live Kickstarter campaign of Cursed Crew, links in description, we are going to be building our own Cursed Crew in Rimworld with a pirate captain you all know and love. Full disclosure, of course, I was not sponsored to make this video. Well, I mean, I guess I was bribed with dryads, but I don't think YouTube disclosure policy really covers that one. Other than that, I'm not sponsored. This is a project I fully believe in. If you've ever watched any of my content, you've already seen what enormous talents and feats this team are capable of. So stick around, and we'll be talking all things Curse Crew later on. So for our Rimworld Curse Crew, only the best and most scurvy sea dogs. Our ideology is suitably nautical with the brand new pirate meme, bringing that classic pirate raiding life, but emphasizing camaraderie amongst Bucko's crew. And yeah, you did read that right. Finally, sea shanties in Rimworld. But much like in the upcoming Cursed Crew, we will have to wrestle with curses of our own thanks to a brand new storyteller, Casper Cursed. Now in Cursed Crew, some curses aren't necessarily bad. It could even be beneficial. It genuinely says the words crab army in my press notes. So I want to try and build a synergy of our own here. Now Casper Cursed is kind of a dick, with the exception of the curse of confetti. That's just charming. On the plus side, the more curses we take, the more people we can have and the less frequent threats we'll face. I'm going to go for the very sensible Curse of the Stabbed, which halves melee cooldown, Curse of Steel, which doubles all damage, and Curse of the Eye Patch, which seems pretty bad on the surface by halving ranged accuracy. But we're going to be swashbuckling our way through Hordes of Enemies pirate style. So all of these work together to make our pirates melee powerhouses. So now, what do pirates love the most? That's right. Gold. Rum and war caskets and i know i know what you're thinking you're thinking whoa 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 what on earth is rum i have one word for you my friends rum suits suits that your colonists can wear which collects their sweat and um other bodily excretions and it distills it into delicious tasty pirate rum for pirates by pirates from pirates. But before I get too carried away, let's get a simple base set up here for Bucko and friends. So I've done a little building off camera, and we have a base good enough to store all of our sizable booty. But we're gonna need a sufficiently pirate way to defend our ill-gotten gains. And would you look at that? Conveniently placed in the architect tab is none other than a full-blown cannon. But every good pirate knows you don't want to be placing your cannons down willy-nilly. Now, these cannons might be able to fire devastating cannonballs at the enemy, but because these cannons are the lightest thing going, they only have a 180-degree fire arc. Similarly, the more advanced field gun might be harder hitting than your cannon, but it has an even more narrow firing arc. And sure, those work perfectly fine against the more lighter-armed enemies. But what happens when the real big guns start turning up? You could always build yourself a set of highly specialized privateer armor, a marine armor variant with a grappling hook built right in. And that will absolutely let you live out your Spider-Man fantasies. But why not do what pirates do best? Cheat, lie, and bribe your way to victory. Because it wouldn't really be Vanilla Faction's expanded pirates if it didn't expand on the pirates that were already there. So now through the power of cold hard silver, you can hire yourself pirate defenders, ranging from basic pirate gunners and drifters towards the more battle-hardened pirate mercenaries up to the honestly terrifying Junkers heavy weapons platform. So now you can kick back, relax, and enjoy your booty as other people die for you. But all of this only scratches the surface. There's a whole new slew of weapons, new raids, new roles, new abilities, and a whole new starting scenario. And not to mention the biggest feature of them all.
So now that you've seen one cursed crew of my own horrible design, a crew we'll be revisiting as soon as Vanilla Faction's Expanded Pirates is released. What about a different cursed crew? The real cursed crew. In Cursed Crew, you control the captain of a band of scurvy sea dogs sailing across the briny depths in the 18th century. It's your responsibility to make sure your crew get where they're going in one piece. The final destination of your quest, a great beast that your crew has set out on a mission to slay to free them of their own titular curse. But it's not all smooth sailing on the high seas. Your journey will be fraught with dangers such as powerful enemy vessels, great storms, creatures from the depths, and more. All of which will influence the story of your crew, and in turn, you can influence the story with your own decisions. As you progress through these many dangers, your crew will fall under the effects of the titular curses, all of these adding a different, unique, but not necessarily negative twist to the game. Some curses might even prove beneficial and combo with one another to be a powerful weapon in your ship's arsenal. But you're still a captain and you still have to run a tight ship and crew management is essential. You set the schedule for your crewmates to follow and work towards, but let's not forget, ultimately, you're the captain. If there's something that needs doing, you can tell them to do it. Schedule be damned. Just make sure you've got enough food, timber and cannibals on hand. Nobody likes a mutiny. And let's not forget, Curse Crew Ahoy. is a roguelike. Oh, if you somehow make the right decisions Ahoy. as captain, manage your crew Ahoy. well, survive the stormy seas and the Ahoy. enemies in your path before slaying the great curse beast, you don't just sail into the sunset fondly remembering your journey. Should your ship prove successful, you'll unlock new vessels, new areas, new items, all ready for your next adventure. I'm sure many of you are in the same boat as me, no pun intended. I didn't really know a huge amount about Curse Crew other than the banners I'd seen around the Steam Workshop. But now I've done my research and looked into it, as I would obviously encourage all of you to do as well at the Kickstarter page, I'm in. Anyone who's watched any of the second channel especially will know that I am a huge fan of roguelikes. And anything that, that self-describes as a roguelike with RimWorld, FTL, and Don't Starve influences made by a team that we already know makes good work, I'm convinced. And hopefully, I've done something to convince you too. I hope you've enjoyed the brief preview of both Curse Crew and Vanilla Faction Expanded Pirates. It was a nice excuse for me to take a bit of a day off whilst also paying it back to a group who've already given us so much already. Again, please check out the Kickstarter and take a read through of that. It will do Curse Crew far more justice than I ever can. A massive thank you again to Oscar especially, but all of the team for letting me take a look at this and of course play around with VE Pirates early and I'm looking forward to bringing you both a full playthrough of VE Pirates when that's full release and of course Curse Crew itself finally the return of other games to the main channel that aren't Romwald but on the subject of that see you all tomorrow for our regular scheduled Romwald <laughs>